Head teachers claim that protests by Muslim parents in Birmingham about lessons on same-sex relationships have now spread to 50 schools across the country. Sky News can reveal connections between the protests and the so-called Trojan horse plot to impose hardline Islamic principles in schools in the city. Sky's Becky Johnson has this report. A community divided. If the community has a faith-based ethos, then it sh the, the schools should reflect that. Where religion clashes with the system. Now, is that OK to be gay? In multicultural Birmingham. It would be a massive step backwards in education to suddenly say, we won't talk about different types of families anymore because it, it might upset some people. It's home time at Anderton Park Primary School and another protest is about to start. Our children! Our choice! Head teacher! Step down! Our children! Our choice! Our children! Our choice! These parents don't want their children taught about same-sex relationships. It's a conflict between religion and education, a deep divide between parents and the school. Demonstrations have been going on for weeks. The mum on the megaphone, Rosina Afsar, has two young children. Our children! Our choice! Our children! The past was often difficult, but Monkey would not give up. My son came home with um, some homework. Uh, when I opened up the book um, to help him do his work, it was a book called The Princess Boy, I think it is, which was um, about a boy who wants to be a girl, who wants to wear dresses, who wants to have tea parties. So basically like transgender, and it was very much saying that it's okay to be that way, which was alarming for me. They're saying that it's okay to be a gay. It's okay to be a gay in their beliefs, in they, what they believe in, which we respect, because everybody's got a right to live how they want to live, how they want their life. Uh, we're not imposing on them, but we feel that they're imposing on us. This school in Birmingham is at the epicentre of a row over relationships education. The head teacher is adamant that nothing will change, despite protesters, including her own pupils, chanting for her to go. The issue is we live in a country, we live in a city, where there are many same-sex parents. And what we have to do with children is to educate about tolerance, respect, understanding that not everybody's like me, not everybody's like my family, not everybody shares the beliefs I, I have or my family has. Uh, and that's OK, that's, that's interesting. Fight. Fighting for their children's rights. This is where the protests well, began, four miles away at Parkfield family. Community School. It's actually aggressively promoting them, giving it a positive spin and telling people yeah that it is okay for you to be Muslim and for you to be gay. Mr. Moffat, shame, 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 shame. Their anger is directed at Andrew Moffat, the school's assistant head teacher, who's openly gay and the author of a programme of lessons called No Outsiders. The classes include books about same-sex parents. His work on equality has earned him an NBE, but he told me he recently received a death threat and now has to defend the classes to parents at his own school. I want to make very clear that no outsiders is not sex education and never has been. And there's, there, is, there is no reference to sex, to the, the sexual acts in no outsiders. There's no books where there's bodies or bedrooms or you know, it's all, no outsiders is about community cohesion. The school has currently suspended the lessons to stop the protests. Talks between parents and teachers are ongoing. But from September 2020, relationships education is becoming compulsory in all primary schools and parents will not have the right to withdraw their children. Are we lucky that is what we're going to do because we've got some extra time. This is a No Outsiders lesson being taught to four and five-year-olds. So our story is called... Mummy, Mama and me. Mummy picks me up, up, up. Mama pours juice in my cup. The school in Cheshire is one of thousands already teaching that families come in many forms. Mummy gently combs my hair. Mama rocks me in her chair. 
Mommy packs a yummy snack. Mama rides me on her back. Pop your hands up if you spotted any of the things that we said we like to do with our family. During the discussion that follows, none of the children ask why there are two mums in the story. None of the children have actually noticed. But if they were to, we would just discuss the fact that, um, yes, there are two mums in that family, but some of our families are made up in different ways. So we would then talk about how their families are made up. Danny is a gay dad whose daughter is a pupil here. It gives people the freedom to be who they are and um, for my child to talk about her dads. He's concerned about protests against the lessons in Birmingham. It's kind of reversing all of the work that's happened in the UK for the LGBT community. It's, um, we've, we've took massive steps uh, with the, making marriage legal and, and stuff like that. So this really is damaging and it, it's, um, it's kind of backtracking the UK. Head teacher! Head Our children! Our choice! But these parents are not backing down. Inside, the head teacher showed me the form all parents signed when their children started at the school. So this is all about our ethos. So there are many things here. We believe in British values, uh, equality of gender, disability, sexual orientation, religious. We always challenge stereotypical views. How do you teach about LGBT issues? So the main message about LGBT are that many families are different. One thing in the eyes of British law is not better than something else. It may be in religious law, so um, reli some religious law may say it's not OK in our religion for two men to get married. We also talk to children about that. And so if we say, if we talk about two daddies or two mommies, we always say, you know, your mum and dad might think something different. That's OK. Talk, talk to them. But Rosina is concerned her children will end up confused. I'm a Muslim. I've got a six year old and I've got a four year old. I don't teach my children at home about religion, let alone anything else. All they know is that we're Muslims. I don't teach them the nitty gritty because they're too young to understand all that information. I don't teach them about what is it, what is, what's, a, a right, what's right and what's wrong in regards to sexuality. Is it, you know, is it right or is it wrong to be wanting to be a gay, a gay or lesbian or if you're a boy you can be. We don't have that conversation because I don't feel the need to have that conversation. My children don't come to me and ask well, why is this a certain way because they're not exposed to it. At home they're not exposed to it. And at schools, I didn't think they were exposed to it. My concerns were, what is being taught at school? Is it going to contradict with what I believe or what I, what, what I, how I would be raising my children? Homophobic. We are not! Homophobic. We are not! At the, the protests are organised by her brother, Shaquille. He doesn't have children at the school. The, a question of, that you just said was, I'm not a parent yet. Uh, that, I think, is just a, a, a diversion because as a member of the community, if there's, a, if there's more than one person who's concerned, I have a right to speak up as a British citizen. He tries to tell us who we can and can't speak to. Why, why you're here? What, why are you I think Rosina, some of the ladies would be a bit... Uh, Rosina's more than happy to speak to you. You've got a few sisters here who are more than happy to... Uh, speak to you. I think if you find a way to. Uh, Can I just ask this lady? I, I don't know. Is a girl from that channel? Me and Rosina. I don't know. You can't speak in English. Right. I know. Well, so she's very limited. Just stop it. We are ethnic too. minority, so you need to understand that. Um, this is this is an issue for the parents, their children, and the school should listen. This is Amir Ahmed. He's the link between this protest group and the original demonstrations at Parkfield. He doesn't have children at either school, but has a personal reason for getting involved. His son goes to Nansen Primary, one of the schools that was involved in the so-called Trojan horse scandal. In 2014, Ofsted found evidence of strict religious practices imposed by some governors and staff in secular schools in Birmingham. I don't believe that they did anything wrong. And, and, and I think uh, there simply wasn't enough transparency and openness in those investigations. I mean, du during Trojan Horse, 21 schools were investigated. I think that's a shame on Ofsted. And, and it was very prejudicial. And, and I find that Ofsted are still very prejudicial. I, I, I feel that there was gross injustice done, definitely. The, the children's education was devastated. And, and uh, it, it is actually reasons for that, that, you know, I've. I've made my, an extra effort to, to, to uh, 
uh, spent time on this. This community is, is a religious community. You, you only have to walk around it to see that. And yet the, the, the whole, you know, practically all the schools around here are secular schools. Why are they secular schools? It, 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 the schools should reflect the community's ethos. And if the community has a faith-based ethos, then it sh the, the schools should reflect that. Colin Diamond was a lead investigator into the Trojan horse scandal. He witnessed what happened when religious values were forced into schools. We saw some gender segregation uh, in assemblies, in lessons. Uh, we saw that in some cases girls were discouraged from participating in certain sporting activities. Worship became a more prominent part of the school day. Many people within the community still never really fully understood what happened back in 2014 and 2015. And now, in 2019, uh, we've had a, a whole set of issues emerged around teaching of relationships and sex education. It's almost as if it's kind of rekindled what was happening back in 2014. Concern has spread beyond Birmingham. This is, a, this is actual material, and you can go online and you can Google this. Yeah. This footage posted on social media shows a meeting in Manchester where teaching about LGBT relationships was described as their Trojan horse. Teachers are seeing evidence of an organised campaign across the country. So what we've got here is a selection of posters that are appearing in schools' communities, so uh, encouragement for parents to go along to meetings at which the misinformation is being sown throughout the community. Letters from parents, many of them downloaded templates from protest websites, are being sent into schools. We've got um, reports of over 50 schools now um, in seven different local authorities that have received in these letters, both within the Muslim community but also in, in Christian, uh, you know, uh, faith schools, uh, Church of England schools, for example, and on a number of letters uh, which are more personalised, uh, quite some threatening uh, letters and correspondence. Those who have had to personally reconcile their faith with their sexuality say it can be done. All these protests, for me, Growing through the era of the 70s and 80s, it is harking back, you know, so many years when we should be looking forward and saying, you know, whether you're LGBT or Muslim, it's OK, we accept you for who you are. We are not! Homophobic! We are not! There are strong feelings on both sides. We want somebody to come and at least listen to us. How to reconcile religion and education. It is OK to be gay in British law, and that's been the case for many, many years. It's a row over the most emotive of issues, how best to prepare children for life in modern Britain.